We hope you enjoy this documentary concerning the Antiochian Orthodox Archdiocese of Europe. The Church of Christ is the lighthouse and spring of light in the darkness of this world. This Church of Christ was raised in the ancient Roman East with the birth of her master and with the preaching of his apostles who brought the gospel of salvation to all the nations. The first civil center of the Roman Empire which received the gospel of salvation was Antioch, the capital of the Provincia Orientis. This city was the residence of the more important patriarchates of the ancient Roman world known as the Pentarchy. The Acts of the Apostles tells us that the faithful of Antioch were the first to be called Christians. His beatitude, Ignatius IV, is the current successor of the Apostles Peter and Paul in the Antiochian See, since his election on the 4th of July 1979 as Patriarch of Antioch and of all the East. The Archdiocese of Europe the Archdiocese of Europe is one of the archdioceses of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Antioch which has a great and ancient Christian heritage. This archdiocese considers itself always to be a young branch of the big tree, the Antiochian Patriarchate. The pastoral work in Europe started with the arrival of Bishop Gabriel Salibi of eternal memory. He started his mandate in 1980 as a patriarchal representative in Paris. He did his best to organize the parishes and to gather our faithful living in the European countries. In 2000, and with the decision of the Holy Antiochian Synod, the Antiochian Vicariate in Europe had been promoted to the Antiochian Orthodox Archdiocese of Western and Central Europe. Metropolitan Gabriel served this archdiocese from 1980 to 2007. After his repose, His Eminence John Yazigi was elected in 2008 as a pastor of the archdiocese. His Eminence started his mandate after his enthronement, which took place in Paris on the 20th of September 2008, with the blessing and the presence of his Beatitude Ignatius IV, Patriarch of Antioch and of all the East. In 2010, the Holy Synod decided to modify the name of the Archdiocese and to call it the Archdiocese of Europe after the creation of new parishes in the Scandinavian countries. In its session, held in June 2011, the Holy Antiochian Synod elected three auxiliary bishops to help the Metropolitan, Bishop Ignatius Alhushi, Bishop Hannah Haikal, and Bishop Ephraim Malule. The Clergy the three auxiliary bishops assist the Metropolitan in taking pastoral care of the Archdiocese. Together they cooperate with the Metropolitan through periodic meetings in which they discuss eparchial affairs, pastoral issues, difficulties to be faced and aspirations to be fulfilled. His Eminence and their Graces conduct pastoral visits to all the parishes. They also attend some meetings of the parish councils, take care of catechesis and support the communities of women. The Archdiocese has 36 priests and 8 deacons. The priests serve the parishes and work together with the parish councils. In the care of the catechesis and the spiritual formation of the faithful, they support the study of the Bible and other activities there continues a great necessity of a general meeting of all the priests in order to strengthen the feeling of belonging to one archdiocese. 
to unify ritual practice within the Archdiocese, to study the pastoral situations of the faithful and to discuss the challenges that they face. The expansion of the Archdiocese and its parishes. The Archdiocese is expanding into all the countries of the European continent and its centre is in Paris. The Archdiocese has 40 parishes and one monastery for nuns. The parishes are spread in the European countries as follows. Four parishes and one monastery in France, 18 parishes in Germany, 15 parishes in the UK, one parish in Austria, one parish in Switzerland, and one parish in Sweden. These parishes are served by 36 priests and 8 deacons. Half of them are of European origin. These parishes are interested in the catechism and in creating the communities of ladies. The Archdiocese is doing its best to create new parishes in other European countries. The parishes in France. The Archdiocese has four parishes in France, of which two are in Paris, the parish of St. Helen and the parish of the Archangels. In Tours, the Archdiocese has the parish of St. Gregory, Bishop of Tours. In Nice, the Archdiocese has the parish of St. Ignatius the Theophor. These parishes are served by four priests and one deacon. The Monastery of the Resurrection in Carcassonne. In France, and precisely in the region of Carcassonne, the monastic Orthodox community of the Resurrection has existed since 1990. The monastery is famous for its iconography and for the nuns' work in transforming the Byzantine musical heritage into a French idiom. The community celebrates the usual monastic prayers in which the visitors participate. The parishes in Germany. Our Archdiocese has 18 parishes in Germany. These are served by 10 priests and one deacon. The parishes are distributed as follows. The parish of St. George in Berlin. The parishes of St. Demetrius and St. George in Cologne. The parish of St. Ignatius in Achim. The parish of the Apostles Peter and Paul in Butzbach. The parish of the Archangel Gabriel in Hanover. The parish of St. Nicholas in Kassel. The parish of the Apostles Peter and Paul in Hamburg. The parish of the Mother of God in Munster. The parish of St. John Chrysostom in Wiesbaden the parish of the Dormition of Our Lady in Osnabrück, the parish of St. Paul and Peter in Karlsruhe, and the parish of St. Peter in Mannheim, the parish of the Archangel Michael in Nuremberg, the parish of the Apostles Peter and Paul in Pforzheim, the parish of St. George in Schwenigen, the parish of St. John the Baptist in Stuttgart, and the parish of St. John of Damascus in Voldorf. The parishes in the United Kingdom and Ireland. Our Archdiocese counts 15 parishes in the UK and Ireland. The first one is the parish of St. George in London, which is served by a priest and a deacon. The other 14 parishes form an Antiochian deanery in the UK and Ireland. This deanery was founded in 1995 to serve the Antiochian faithful of British origins. The first dean was the very reverend archpriest Michael Harper of blessed memory. The deanery attempts to help British and Irish people in rediscovering in new forms the ancient orthodox faith of the Isles. The deanery uses English in the liturgical services. From five parishes and five priests in 1995, the deanery in 2012 now has 14 parishes, seven missions, 17 priests and four deacons. The parishes of the Antiochian deanery are 
the parish of St Edward the King and Passion Bearer in Athelhampton, the parish of the Archangel Michael in Audley and Dresden, the parish of St Ignatius in Belfast, the parish of St Dunstan in Bournemouth, the parish of St Helen in Colchester, the parish of St Columba and St Kentigan in Doncaster, the parish of the three patrons of Ireland in Dublin, the parish of the Holy Cross in Lancaster, the parish of all the saints of Lincolnshire in Lincoln, the parish of St Botolph in London, the parish of St Ethelherd in Louth, the parish of St Aidan in Manchester, the parish of St Fursey in Sutton, and the parish of St Constantine in York. The deanery also conducts pastoral work through its missions attached to these parishes. The parishes in Austria, Switzerland and Sweden. In Vienna there is a parish dedicated to the Virgin. In Geneva our archdiocese there has the parish of the Resurrection. In Sweden there is the parish of the Virgin in Sodertage near Stockholm. The Parish Councils Every parish has its own council. This council meets in the presence of its parish priest and works together with him in the administration of the parish. His Eminence meets periodically with these councils during his pastoral visits. He tries to hold periodic annual meetings under the name of the Eparchial Conference. This conference aims to gather the faith of the Archdiocese to organise the work between them, to facilitate the exchange of good practice between them in order to promote pastoral work and strengthen the life of the Antiochian Church in Europe so that it might appear as a beautiful bride worthy of her bridegroom, Christ the Lord. The creation of new parishes. The Archdiocese does its best to create new parishes and to provide them with churches and priests worthy to serve them. This means that the Archdiocese should provide the priest with a salary and social insurances so that he can become a full-time priest who celebrates the liturgies and performs his pastoral duties. In 2010, the parish of the Virgin in Sodertage, near to Stockholm, was founded. This parish takes care of the Antiochian faithful in Sweden and attempts to look after their religious needs. As for the consecration of new churches, in 2009 the Archdiocese obtained the Church of St. Helen, a property of the Catholic Church in Paris. This church has been restored and set out for the use of the Antiochian parishioners in Paris. The first divine liturgy in this church was celebrated on Palm Sunday 2010 and the same church was inaugurated officially on the 20th of November of the same year. In Germany and recently the Archdiocese acquired two churches, one for the parish of the Domitian of Our Lady in Osnabrück, inaugurated in 2010, and the other for the parish of St Ignatius in Achim, which will be inaugurated later. In the parish of the Apostles of Peter and Paul in Butzbach in 2010, the first stone for the building of the church and its salon was laid. As of now, the salon is finished and operational. It receives parishioners and responds to their necessities. General and Ecclesiastical Relations The Archdiocese is committed to its external relations. These relations are official, inter-Orthodox, ecumenical and Islamo-Christian relations. As to the official relations, the Archdiocese strengthens them, attempting to guarantee care for the faithful who live in Europe. To serve this, the Metropolitan conducts official visits to the civil authorities in the European countries for the benefit of our children living there. On the level of relations with the other Orthodox churches, the Archdiocese does its best to express the collegiality of the Orthodox Church. 
a collegiality which springs from the same faith and which is manifested through the participation in inter-Orthodox meetings and in the meetings of the Assembly of the Orthodox Bishops in each European country. The Archdiocese considers that ecumenical relations are the ideal embodiment of genuine attempts of the Archdiocese to meet with other Christian brethren. It considers these the best ways to strengthen the rapport of brotherhood with the other Christian churches. The activity of the Archdiocese in this field is clear through the meetings with the local prelates of the Catholic Church, including a visit to the Holy See in February 2009. Ecumenical activity is also obvious in visits to local pastors of the various Protestant churches. These visits strengthen relations and fortify collaborations to foster the best Christian witness. The Archdiocese also attempts to guarantee the best and ideal relations with other religions, especially with Islam. Catechism The Archdiocese does its best to develop catechism in all the parishes. The catechism is an indispensable part of the work through which the Archdiocese attempts to explain the word of the Gospel to our children and to educate them in the Orthodox faith so that they may become real members of the Church. For this reason, catechetical programs in different languages have been collected. This catechism embraces all ages, children, teenagers and youth. Parishes organise a number of camps in which everyone can meet together to listen to the word of the Gospel. The youth camps in Germany are a real example of fellowship, living together and the experience of the beauty of the communal life. Besides all of this, other activities such as trips, meetings and Christmas and Easter parties are organised. Communities of Women The Archdiocese highly esteems the role of women in the Christian family, as wives and as instructors. For this reason, the Archdiocese does its best to create societies of women in all the parishes. The aim of these communities is to give women an ecclesiastical formation, to activate their instructional roles in the family and in the church. These communities meet together periodically to listen to the word of the gospel, to explain it and to work hard to embody it in daily life. In 2009, the community of St. Genevieve for Women was established in Paris. It meets together once a month. This community has a number of ecclesiastical activities expressing the church as a communion of the faithful. The community has organised a number of exhibitions, familial meetings and trips. The Parochial Council Basing on the nature of the ecclesiastical work, which requires the combination of the efforts between clergy and laymen and the spiritual and administrative affairs of the Archdiocese, the Metropolitan John Yazigi did his best to establish the Eparchial Council. This council consists of representatives of all the parishes. Its reunions are held under the presidency of the Metropolitan to discuss all the Eparchial affairs and issues. The Order of St John Chrysostom the Archdiocese established the Order of St. John Chrysostom during the meeting of the Eparchial Council held in Paris in May 2011. It is the arm of charity for the Archdiocese. This order includes men and women who promise annually to support the Archdiocese spiritually, practically and financially so that it might achieve its aims. The Archdiocese publishes also a calendar every year. This calendar includes information about the parishes, the priests, the addresses of the churches and the feast days of the Orthodox Church. The Archdiocese also publishes some liturgical books such as the Liturgical Office of the Consecration of the Church, prepared by His Eminence John Yazigi. 
The Archdiocese does its best to publish a periodical bulletin in Arabic, French, German and English in order to fortify in the faithful the feeling of belonging to one eparchy so that they might be one as Jesus and the Father are one. Evangelization Telecommunication Through the Internet The Archdiocese uses the media to put in order the Antiochian House in European countries. Its website broadcasts its own news in Arabic, English, French and German to the Antiochians in Europe and in all the world. The Archdiocese believes that the communication is so important for its faithful and in this it attempts to provide information and a data bank for all the Antiochian faithful in Europe. In addition to this, the Archdiocese tries to broadcast on the website the chants, prayers and audiovisual programs which discuss various religious subjects. As the Archdiocese esteems the importance of the theological formation and catechism, it attempts to establish a distance learning program. Also it proposes a project of an electronic religious review containing various theological and daily life issues of interest to the faithful. In conclusion, in Antioch, the disciples of Christ have been called Christian for the first time. In Europe today, the Antiochian faithful attempt to be true witnesses to him whose name had been first granted unto them. Their testimony to him is realized when they live their Christianity whenever and wherever they are. Thank you for listening and viewing this presentation, this documentary on the Antiochian Archdiocese in Europe.